Hi, I'm Lawrence Whipler. For some time now, I've been working on a theory of everything that would unite the fundamental forces. Now, this theory is based on the magnetic monopole. In this video, I will focus on magnetic dipoles, such as bar magnets, uh, ferrous metals, and non-ferrous metals, um, and why one is able to become a magnet and the other one is not. First, we have to start at the atom. In the core of the atom, is a particle of matter. Now this particle of matter represents an element. Each atom with its lines of force is a magnetic dipole. Now you may think if an atom is a dipole, well, well actually all atoms are dipoles, then why don't everything become a magnet? Well, here's why. Because you have In ferrous materials, such so say say iron, is going to have a large weak magnetic line of force orbiting through the core. Now, a non-ferrous. I'll make a small one here. Will not have this outer weak magnetic line of force. It's just a property of say the element. All elements are the same except for their lines of force. You may think of it as the atom's DNA. Each line of force is in a different position relative to the atom's core. Now that is how uh, atoms are bound together to create matter. Now, how does this weak outer magnetic field create a dipole? Well, say a bar magnet. Well, imagine I have more atoms like this with its large, weak magnetic line of force. There's a couple of small ones here. Now, you're going to have to imagine you have plenty of these. Here's an atom, and here's another atom. Both of these are made from iron. They have the large, weak outer magnetic field. Now, if you want to combine these fields together, well, you use another magnetic field, such as a bar magnet, or something that is much stronger than these. What will happen is that these weak magnetic lines of force will become separated and combined together to form one large magnetic line of force through all of the atoms in the metal. Now that's how you can magnetize metal. Metal or atoms that do not have this weak outer magnetic line of force cannot be magnetized. Now that is the reason why some metals can be magnetized and others are not even though all atoms are magnetic dipoles. Thank you.